Hey guys and welcome back to another video. For this video, I will be going over the Math Kangaroo 2019 test in the USA for levels 3 and 4. And in this video, I will be going over the three point problems for this test. Let's get started with number one. The higher the step on the podium, the higher the rank of the runner who finished third. So let's rank them. We see that D. D is the tallest. No one can come in his way up here. So D got first. Now second. The next tallest after D. We go lower, lower, lower. And we see that here matches B. And no one else is there. So B got second. Next we go lower, lower, lower. Until we get here. And we see that this matches E who got third. We go lower, lower, lower. And here. We see that it matches C, who got fourth, leaving A with fifth. It asked who finished third, and that would be E. So the answer for number one is E. Number two. In the pictures, each dot stands for one, and each bar stands for five. For example, this stands for eight. Which picture stands for 12? So, if each bar stands for five, that means that 12 will consist of two bars. 5 plus 5 equaling 10. So the value made of the bars will be equal to 10. So it can either be B or C. Because they're the only ones with two bars. Now we subtract 12 minus 10. To get that, the figure will also have two dots. B has one dot, C has two. So the answer for number Two will be C. Number three. Yesterday was Sunday. What, what day is tomorrow? So, let's put the days of the week in order. So, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and... Saturday. So yesterday was Sunday. So that means today is Monday, meaning tomorrow is Tuesday. So the answer for number three is A. Number four. There are two holes in the cover of a book. When the book is open, it looks like this. Which pictures does Olaf see through the holes when he closes the book? So, there are three of these shapes separating this spiral area from the first vehicle. So, we can cross out one, two, three from the other side, and we get that the motorcycle is first. Now, there are two of these figures separating the motorcycle from the two next vehicles. So, cross out another two, and we get the jeep and the tractor so the answer for number four would be d because it has the motorcycle the jeep then tractor number five karina cuts out one piece like this from the sheet shown to the right which piece can she get so you oh you start with the first one a so we look for stars and we get one star here, one star here. The star is tilted, so we can't even use it. But we can see that the figures form like this. So A can be made. And eventually, after you go through all of the choices, you'll find out that none of them can also be made. And only A can be made. Number six. Three people walked across a field of snow wearing muddy shoes. In which order do they do this? So... We see the little one at the beginning crawling over the gray shoes. So right now we know that it's going to be gray before little. And I'm going to call this one spotted, so S. Now here we see gray, The this one going over the little one. So it's either going to be here or here. So it's going to be behind little. 
and so that means it's also behind gray and yes you can see it's crossing over gray also so it's gray little spotted a is gray little spotted number seven pia is making shapes using the connected sticks shown in the picture which of the following shapes uses more sticks than pia has so let's count how many sticks are in number in the figure over here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so there are ten so all of them except one will have ten so all of them except one will have ten sticks a has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so a matches this b one two three four five six seven eight nine ten b also matches this c one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so c also matches this d one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve d does not match this because twelve does not equal 10. So the answer for number seven is D. More importantly than 12 not equaling 10, it's 12 is more than 10. Because suppose that D had eight sticks. D then cannot be the answer. Even though eight does not equal 10, it does not use more sticks. It uses less. So then it cannot be the answer because it says uses more sticks. But here, this is true, and so is this. Last question for the three-point problems, number eight. What number should replace the question mark when all calculations are completed correctly? So, first let's start with this. Two plus one equals three. Zero plus three equals three. One plus blank equals nine. Same thing as nine minus one equals what? So that would be eight. So 1 plus 8 equals 9. Finally, 8 minus 3 equals 5. So the answer for number 8 is B. So that's all of the three-point problems. To actually make this test like appear so I could put it on my channel, I had to go through a lot of steps because I took this test when I was in fourth grade. And so I didn't actually have it on the web, but I had a paper copy so after scanning it and erasing all of my work so I can make it fresh, I was able to present it in this video. So please subscribe, like, and hit the notification button so my hard work doesn't go to waste and you perform well on the test. And I can post more of these videos and then the next one I will be going over the four point problems. So make sure you come for the next video which will be that. Bye!